Hey YouTube, today I'm doing five cartoons what made movies. The first one is the Flintstones, what came to be a movie in the 90s. And a pretty good film it was for the day. Um, coming from a cartoon into a proper real life and seeing things, bed bed bedrock and things, animals being used as tools and stuff and equipment was funny. There were very good actors and actresses in the film, and it's quite a good, a lot of good music in it. You could sing to and um, have a beat to, and a laugh. Quite comical, quite comical in the film itself, and really good laugh and a good classic. Number four is Rugrats, a good favourite of mine when I was a kid growing up. Although I used to watch him on Nickelodeon. I thought it was really funny, really good. Things what things what they could get up to and do. All the adventures they used to get to, and I used to like. Um, Angelica with her cookies and eating them. Um, Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, go, go, go. Chucky with his bloody being scared of everything, and Tommy the adventures and the twins, and the family. It was just a great thing, and the movie was good as well. Different graphics, um, set in a different invention that went in the wild, good music in it, and a good thing to remember when you were a kid and you said it on DVD and always watching them. And I even liked them when they did the series All Grown Up, good classic, and sadly it's not on TV anymore. Number three is South Park. What can I say about South Park? Crazy, funny, rude, a lot of language, had a lot of fun, and it's been on the TV for a few many years. It's been off, it's been banned, it's been taken off for swearing, it's been, it goes further than many cartoons or series it can go, and as well as they did a movie. Well, and that was brought out in the 90s going on to 2000 and the music in that is you could just get the disc and you could listen to it because there's so many dirty jokes and the songs I could tell you a song now but I don't want to because I might get done for singing the songs <laughs> but um, you wanted to watch it if you wasn't even the age because it was just that sort of a cartoon in the 90s and today I think so if you want to watch it doesn't matter it's just a cartoon and well, keep killing a character off every week. How can I keep doing it? It's not possible. It's like, you... so South Park is a great series, and doing a film. And then in our town, under a bridge, they had um, they've got a poster of the film. And now it is 2015. It's been still under that bridge, the advertising for the movie, since the 90s. We'll get a picture of it one day and show you. And that's number three. Number two is The Simpsons. What can I say about The Simpsons? They've always been there for nearly 26, 27 years. Well, 26 or 27 years. Two decades, whatever the case is. No one can beat The Simpsons. They've done the most seriousness out of all. They started these sort of sitcom cartoons in the 90s no well midnight beginning of the 90s and the 80s and the jokes of homer the characters that's in never grow up of course how can you get them grow up the dog must be about 40 odd 30 odd or years old now um what else can we say about old simpsons could they think of a color just yellow come on there's different colors there's yellow and when they bought a movie out in 2007-ish, that film was brilliant. It was the best thing you could see. Well, the moment this picture on the front what's showing is quite rude. And we've got a friend what's so like... What do you call it on the front? He's such a... He's like him, he's a geek. He talks funny. He hasn't got glasses, but he's just like Ned Flanders. And that's a friend of ours. Number one is a mummy yellow little friend called SpongeBob. 
been going since 1999 and the only running program to be on um, Cartoon Network, not Cartoon Network Nickelodeon is still on today and yes I will admit it I like Spongebob and I, if I can see it on TV I would watch it because it's such a bloody stupid show and I can laugh at it and my parents say what you watch that stupid thing for Yes, I'm like a sponge. I'm st I'm daft, and I watch it, and I'm proud of watching stupid things like SpongeBob on TV. When they made a movie, I mean, altogether, SpongeBob doesn't make sense. The movie don't make sense about looking for a crown and then going onto the on land to go and get it, and the meat mess what you call that's rot, and then he's like a speed jet. Going, yeah, I can't pronounce it. In the speedos and stuff. And for one part of the film, what makes me cry, well, it's also cry, is when they're drying out on the old oh, yeah. thing, and they, they're like a sponge and a star. But the old film just doesn't make sense at all. What, um, when you put a burger in water, it, it falls apart. I'd like to know what are, the, what are the Krabby Patties? What are they? Are they just like lettuce and stuff? Water, crispy lettuce, water, <laughs> crispy water. Uh, only still going to the day on the TV. The programs are, and this year they've made a new film. I haven't seen that yet, but I want to see it on DVD. But this is so stupid. That's why it's made number one because nothing makes sense. And he's well, he's a bit gay as well. Well, all these pictures we've used and footage. You don't belong to us, but thank you for letting us use this. And I hope you go and watch some of these movies or have watched some of these programs when you were a child. Hope to see you soon. Bye.